Hello to all of my beautiful honeys. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you are an OG. I'm so glad to have all of you here. I'm freaking excited for today's drink. I was excited for the last one that we did, but this one, this one, I don't know. This one's got me in that like, sit by the fire, mistletoe, like your mantle decorated with like the stockings, the garland, and you got your candles going and it's just, like Christmassy romanticized. It is the Armoretto Eggnog Cocktail. You can definitely make this into a martini. So let's go ahead and get right on in. All right, so for this Armoretto Eggnog Cocktail, we're going to need one ounce of spiced rum. We're going to need two ounces of Armoretto. We're going to need one ounce of hazelnut creamer. And then we need eight ounces of eggnog. I know not all of this is gonna fit in this glass. So I'm gonna go ahead and with a few pieces of ice in my shaker, mix it all up in here. You're not shaking it today. You just take your spoon and kind of stir it all around. Um, and then you wanna sprinkle some cinnamon on top. So let's get into it. So with my jigger here, I'm going to do my spiced rum. And this one definitely is gonna be like on the colder side, which I don't know why eggnog would be warm. I feel like that would cook the eggnogs or like the egg in the nog, I guess to say. Um, but then we need two ounces of amaretto. Then you need one ounce of the hazelnut creamer. I don't have hazelnut creamer, so I'm just gonna do a fourth an ounce of hazelnut syrup. And then fill the rest with just regular cream. That's about a fourth of an ounce. So add some half and half cream here just to fill. And then we will get into our eight ounces of eggnog. <laughs> Robbie picked up this eggnog and so if it looks a little fishy, it wasn't my fault. But for those of you who do like dairy free or are vegan, Silk makes nog. Let's do it. This is going to be two. basically just like an eight ounce glass of eggnog. And then we're gonna go ahead and give this a nice little stir. We'll try that again. We're gonna go ahead and give this a nice little stir with our spoon. <laughs> mix it up well. And just go ahead and put my top on and nicely pour it in the glass. So you can top this with a cinnamon stick. I think it would be prettier with a cinnamon stick again, but instead I'm going to just put like a little tiny sprinkle, Ooh, not that much, <laughs> a little tiny smidgen of cinnamon on top. And now y'all know, I'm gonna let my boo Robbie come on in. My boo. Wait. It's an honor. <laughs> to have joined you this time before yeah. a little bit later on the rating. I just want to be with you while you try this one. I <laughs> this one makes think I need some moral support for this one. <laughs> I obviously have not drank much eggnog in my life because I didn't even really get real eggnog. <laughs> um, when I think it was probably the only one in the entire store that wasn't real eggnog. That, and that's the one I picked. <laughs> there goes nothing. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm scared why. for you. <laughs> Ooh, 
Um, ooh, as my dad would say. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I don't know. I, I yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I really, Charlie's yeah. like, dude, come on. Charlie. It doesn't taste bad. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's just hearty, right? Like it's a, yeah. It, just, it's, it is. It's a thick drink. It's like a glass of milk, like literally. <laughs> um, it's thick. It's a little thick. All right, all right. Scale of one to 10. And what could be better or what you would do, like, you know, what could be done different about it? I'm gonna give it a six and a half figured where you would land a little uh, bit um the taste is fine mm -hmm. it's just it's like kind of it but it's it's literally just a glass of milk it, this is just me too like i'm i don't drink even milk what would i change well maybe get the right eggnog <laughs> or, or actually get eggnog this isn't a change but definitely i love the cinnamon on top yeah i don't know if i i don't think i would probably add more but I would absolutely make sure you have that on top. It doesn't taste like too spirit forward, surprisingly, even yeah. though there's the spiced rum in there. A little bit I spice could, rum. Yeah, I could almost go for some more spiced rum. Yeah. I still have six more months to go, so unfortunately the liquor palette of mine isn't necessarily... Um, I'll try all these next year. ...able to... <laughs> That's so far away. <laughs> It would have been put to use, but you know what? It's been fun actually watching Robbie do these because his palette is just so different from like mine or my sister's in a way. Like I just, it's been fun watching you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for doing these. My baby. <laughs> well, there you have it. Leave us a comment down below if you would try this drink, if you have a way to make it better, if you have like a better recipe or Merry Christmas. We're happy holidays Merry in general. Day. Merry day, because I know Hanukkah's running too, so happy Hanukkah. Hopefully you're on vacation. <laughs> on PTO. <laughs> you're not Christmas. working. Happy oh life. God, happy, happy life. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next adventure. All love. Bye. <laughs>